Hello folks, Rob Dremeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Barfly. Today we're making a Carol Channing, <laughs> but of course we are, so stick around. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Barfly is the channel for you. I stumbled upon this Carol Channing cocktail a while ago and I've just been sitting on it waiting for the right time to share it. And it feels like the perfect cocktail to ring in a new year, so here we are. It's named, of course, for the Broadway icon, but it was inspired by one specific performance of hers. Now, over the years, Carol Channing made a handful of appearances on Broadway, but her career was really built on the foundation of two primary roles. The first was Laura Lively, a role that she created when she starred in the original Broadway production of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. And she sort of adopted this not so dumb blonde personality as part of her overall Carol Channing show business persona. She also starred in a revival of the show, or sort of a revised revival of the show, in the early 1970s, simply titled Lorelei. Her other significant Broadway role, of course, was Dolly Levi in the original Broadway production of Hello Dolly. And she would go on to play Dolly for the next 30 years or so in multiple tours and Broadway revivals. And even though her career was built on these two primary roles, she didn't get the chance to recreate either of them in the film versions. Lorelei was played by Marilyn Monroe in the film version of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. And of course, Barbara Streisand stars in the film version of Hello, Dolly. She did, however, appear in two other film musicals. The first is a long-forgotten film from 1956 titled The First Traveling Sales Lady. That was a vehicle for Ginger Rogers late in her film career. In the film, Carol Channing plays Rogers' sidekick, and the supporting cast also included James Arnaz and Clint Eastwood, of all people. Her other significant film appearance is Thoroughly Modern Millie that starred Julie Andrews and Mary Tyler Moore. And in the film, she plays Muzzy, a 1920s party girl, and she does a production number that's aptly titled Jazz Baby. Now, I should point out that Carol Channing was nominated for an Academy Award for her performance. A lot of people forget it or don't even know, but yes, Carol Channing was, in fact, nominated for an Academy Award. And it was this performance that inspired the cocktail. For some reason, she has the line raspberries, and she says it a couple of times in the film. And it's funny with her Carol Channing voice and sort of lateral lisp. She says raspberry. Raspberry. <laughs> and that's what inspired the cocktail. Who knew? So it was the mixologist Dick Bradsell who was inspired by Channing's performance and who created this Carol Channing cocktail. He was a very well-known mixologist from London and his career was at its peak in the 1980s. He's responsible for a couple of modern day classics, including the espresso martini and the bramble. So let's get down to business and make his Carol Channing. To make our Carol Channing, we need some raspberry ingredients as you might expect. We need framboise eau de vie, which is a raspberry brandy, creme de framboise, which is a raspberry liqueur, and champagne, though I confess I'm using sparkling wine. I find that using actual champagne in these champagne cocktails is often just a waste of good wine and a waste of money, because in most of these cocktails, any dry sparkling wine will work just fine. So we build this right in the glass, and we start with three quarters of an ounce of our eau de vie about two-thirds of an ounce of the creme de framboise. And we top that off with our sparkling wine. And then, of course, we garnish with some fresh raspberries. <laughs> and there you have a Carol Channing. Happy New Year's, everybody, and I hope to see you all in 2023. Cheers. Okay. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.